I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us on today's car. Listen, when you build a pro touring car, uh, you build one, it requires two full pages of things that have been done to it in the restoration process. But the part that I bring up most about it is like, you know, when we were young, like these cars, the big floor barrel and what have you, were awesome. And the cars that we have are still great that way. But sometimes as we get a little older, we love the old school look, right? Because you can say, well, I don't want to sound like our parents, but like they don't make cars today like they used to. Well, they don't make the style like this like they used to. Because this, when you look at this car, this car is like a great looking car. And just the words, you could be at any party or whatever and say, yeah, I have a 70 GTO. Doesn't matter who's there, they don't even know much about cars. They say, oh, you got a 70 GTO? And love to talk to you about it. But here's what I'm saying. Let's say you take this car here and you completely disassemble it, put it into boxes, go inside, have a beer, come back out and go, whoa, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this old school body and I'm gonna turn it into like a new style car as well underneath. And that is exactly what's happened here. So here you get the best of both worlds. You get a car that handles because it has rack and pinion steering. You have a car that handles because it has big wheels and tires. You have a car that's fast because it has an aluminum block, aluminum heads, fuel injected, right? And overdrive automatic. So if you want to drive to the beach with the air conditioning on, right? Right, the air conditioning on and or modern heat in the wintertime. You want to go to your place at the weekend, whatever. You have all of that here, right? And then you can go and do those things and not worry about whether you're gonna be cold, whether you're gonna be hot, whether the vinyls, whether the wife doesn't like the smell or the sound or whatever of an old school car. And sometimes this is exactly what you're looking for. That's why I love these cars because you get a little of everything of today's modern cars, but you get the cool, great looking uh, style of today. So uh, the paint alone, uh, it's called Corvette Laguna Blue. It's because it's from a uh, modern Corvette color and it is really beautifully done. I like to make sure you can see how beautiful the, the words are, how crisp everything is in there. You know, make sure somebody does that for you when they're, uh, when they're walking around and giving you a video on the car. If you're not getting a video on every car that you're looking at, you might wanna ask yourself why. Anyway, all right, so come on up here, because I wanna show you Wilwood disc brakes right here, big brakes, right? Big wheels and tires, big footprint, all right? These are chrome Koi's 18s in back, uh, 18s in front and 20s in back here. And they look great. We painted the calipers red for a little bit of style. We have the blue LS1 badge right there. This car just looks good. It's got a great stance. It's got great feel. Not to mention the underneath of the car is painted as well. Look at the pictures online of this car underneath because it looks spectacular because a lot of the way a car drives is based on what's done underneath. A car doesn't drive great because it's shiny on top. A car drives great because of the stuff that's done underneath. And that's what you're gonna get here, all right? Can we keep walking around for a second because there's some great style. Here, the rear wing, love that. It's a real GTO style type thing. Big fat exhaust pipes coming about the back. New chrome, new stainless, new bumpers, new glass, new trim. Uh, even stuff like the uh, windshield and front, uh, rear, front and rear glass right here, all done in powder coated black. Uh, so that there's very little chrome, just a little bit of front, uh, this rear piece there, and the wheels and tires to get the door handles. It's just a great looking car, man. The more I walk around and talk about it, uh, the more I get excited about it. All right, so let's take a peek under the hood because there's where a lot of money is spent because you're transforming a big cast iron block, heavy, heavy to, and carbureted to modern, 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 and let's see what that means. Wow, check this out, guys. Come on up here a little bit and see. First off, there's a lot of room in here, all right? And the best of the best components. You have an LS drivetrain, all right? Aluminum block, aluminum heads. You have modern air conditioning and heat. Well, what's the difference between old school and modern? Well, the difference is that these components here flow much better. Air conditioning's changed a lot in the last 40 or 50 years, and you're getting that here. So you're getting also a lot lighter system. The system is much smaller. It doesn't require all of the pieces out here. Look how flat and uh, massaged the firewall, which is all custom too, by the way. Not to mention the inner fender liners being painted, chrome master cylinder and brake booster there. Wiper is detailed, tubular control arms for the suspension, all right? Even the headers are wrapped, okay? In uh, high heat uh, protection there, okay? Fuel injection system here, 
mass airflow sensor, nice big filter, right? Optima battery. Well, what's the big deal about an Optima battery? You're right, it's not a big deal, but the fact of the matter is it's three times the price of a regular battery, which gives you an indication of how much is spent on the car doing the detail stuff. Everybody can build these cars. It's finishing them and doing the detail stuff that makes a really, really big difference. For instance, all the bolts here, okay, are stainless bolts. You know why? Because they won't rust. You say, well, stainless bolts, who cares, man? What's that? What's that? 50 bucks, 100 bucks? You're right. Maybe it's 100 bucks extra, but it's 100 bucks here, it's 100 bucks there, it's 2,000 here, it's 1,500 here, it's da 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 da. It's the detail stuff that offers you a great car for a really long time. All right. Maybe you're not going to spend a whole lot of time back here, but what you should do is see some of the stuff that has been done. For instance, like this is all painted, buffed, and detailed, right? All new weather strippings, trunk lock. This isn't painted all one color. A lot of times when you see cars, a lot of stuff's painted black. You know why it's all painted black? Because it's much easier to spray bomb something black than to take this out and paint that silver. Stainless bolts again here, new weather stripping. Uh, we have a piece of carpet being made for this right now that uh, matches the front carpets of the car as well. The good news is I'm showing you the trunk and the reason I'm showing you the trunk is because you can see it's a brand new trunk pan. See how deep the wells are over time? People would have painted this over and over and over and over and it would have, uh, filled up all of those cracks or maybe got rust in it or they put mud in there. And this, you know, is nice and new and nice and big, clean. Hey, one of the things too is that this has an adjustable rear suspension on it too. So if you want to uh, change the height, maybe you like a stance that's a little more jacked like that. Maybe you like it even, maybe you like it a little sagging in the rear. You can adjust it uh, back here, which is just a nice one more thing that makes it a little bit nicer car. All right, so let's go in here for a second. So this right now is, is kind of, uh, a little hybrid between being a full-on custom show car and custom but still slightly original. So for instance, all the interior is brand new from the headliner to the dash to the seats to the carpets and all that stuff, but we have some really custom stuff in here like the door panels are upgraded, this center console is custom, this full dash here because this has uh, the blue LED gauges in here with 160 mile an hour speedometer and 8,000 RPM tack, killer uh, JVC sound system, right? With speakers everywhere, mid-ranges, tweeters, woofers, uh, for that, because we all love tunes. To handle the computer drive system of the LS drivetrain, you have your plug-in right here. Just plug in a scanner if you ever have a problem. This even has a check engine light built into it in case there's something that ever happens to the car. Uh, that'll show up on the dash and you can check it right here and see what it is and get that repaired. The air conditioning system and heating system right here is billet. Okay, just giving it a little shine so you can see how nice it is. That system right there is, is it. But if you wanted to, they sell a custom set of bucket seats for this car that look similar to this, but they have big deep bolsters and a lot more modern in there. We could install that for you if you wanted to and recover the rear seat uh, in that same fabric, which would take this to a whole another level if you wanted to. Some people love the look of this, and that's the only reason I didn't change it, because I think it looks great, because it has all new foams and springs and trim. Everything in the car uh, has been redone. It's got this great three-spoke wheel billet door handles and window cranks and what have you. Uh, it's just an awesome, awesome car. I just love this car. So we close up this video with, uh, first off, you, you, you've seen a great car. You've seen some great pictures. The drive is what you should really care about. You know, if they're not assembled well, they don't drive well. This car drives really well. It comes with this little bonus poster right here, okay? It comes with a folder of receipts, two sets of keys, all the detail stuff, manuals, books, all that stuff, it's that kind of car. So I, I gotta tell you what, man, if you wanted like one of the coolest cars you've ever seen uh, in your life, call us, 301-816-1000, we'll find a way to get it in your garage. First off, I just wanted you to see the paint out in the sunlight because the showroom doesn't do it uh, justice at all. Look at this, it is miles deep, great metallic in it. And then again, we're back to the, you know, the modern drivetrains and the modern components in an original style car, and it totally makes sense to me because you reach in, and like you really couldn't do this on a carb car. You just hit the key because it's fuel injected and what have you, it handles the whole startup process. It's just really nice. But I do want you to hear uh, the sound of it. So if you could get back there and I'll let, a, let you hear a little bit of the rumble. It's not that a, that a modern car can't sound good. How you doing?